All right, these are the colors that I'm gonna be using today. And I saw them the other day in a, in a lady's dress. And I thought, hmm, I bet this would look really good in a canvas. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the white and a little bit of magenta because I'm gonna use this as a background. So I'm gonna have like a marble background. And um, there we go. I am going to start over there and then I'm just going to spread it all over the canvas. As you can see, I've already tried that before and my pour didn't work and so I just washed the canvas and let it dry. So here I am, it's ready. My canvas is ready to start. And now I just need to um, add a little bit of dimethicon in my uh, in my paints so i'm just aligning them right there by my by my canvas to have them ready and now i am going to add one drop of dimethicon in each color see i use just uh, it, it can work i mean i use pure dimethicon but um i hear argan oil also works and um, antifreeze gel products as long as the dimethicon um, is in the first three ingredients. So now I'm going to uh, incorporate the dimethicon. I'm not trying to over stir because I don't want to break the bonds in the dimethicon and then my cell, I'm going to get little cells. But it's just enough to incorporate it see that's it that's it guys now i'm going to start with a base of black and i'm going to use the puddle technique here and then my magenta see i already like how the magenta looks with the background and then the yellow now i'm going to use the hammer and uh, since my plastic didn't work in my hammer, so I'm just going to use the hammer by itself. There you go. I already like how the dimethicon is reacting. See, one thing that we need to keep in mind when we do this technique is we use the hammer gently. It's not uh, an anger management coping technique by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> so see as you can see just gently and especially in the edge in the corners where it's close to the wood the frame of the canvas man I'm telling you if we overdo it we're going to have paint splashed all over and a big black a, a big white hole in the middle of our canvas but nevertheless I just wanted to show you uh, the technique here and I'm gonna do the rest of canvas. I'm sorry, off camera. Now I'm just using my palette knife to um, create the illusion of stems and I'm going to tie my flowers at this point. I don't know if that's how they're gonna dry but that's how they look like to me right now. It's just a bunch of flowers going from left to right and um, yeah that's how I'm gonna finish it and uh, for those interested I'm also incorporating my video of how I use my uh, how I make my pouring medium at the end and um, yeah just wanted to let you know in case you're you like to watch it all right guys this is the finished pour um as you can see the direction of the flowers go from left to right in a diagonal is that how you call this thing this direction right here <laughs> i like the background and the only different the only thing that i did not show in the video is i let it dry and then with a q-tip i dipped it into the yellow paint and then started doing the center of the flowers right here. That's it. And now they do look like flowers. So I also wanted to show you another painting that I have 
using the same technique. See, these look like pansies. And so I really, really like this one. I just did a swipe as a background instead of this. But um, nevertheless, I still like the effect that the hammer technique creates. It's one of my favorite techniques. So thank you so much. I am um, attaching the video right next to this um, dry paint for those who uh, like to see how I prepare my, my medium. And uh, until next time, guys, keep pouring.